he also testified that he did not diagnose Amber with borderline personality disorder. Do you recall that testimony? He also testified that he doesn't use diagnoses, but yes, I do recall that. And do you recall that it was in, the, those words were in his notes, but he said he had written that down, but then he discounted it and, and determined that that was not correct for her. All right, you want to approach? All right, now let's jump to Amy Banks. Dr. Banks is a psychiatrist, correct? Correct. Yes. And in fact, she went to medical school at Georgetown, and she did her psychiatric training at Harvard Medical School, correct? I believe that's correct. I don't recall 100%. Okay. All right. And she uh, was a psychiatrist in Massachusetts that Amber Heard had reached out to yes. after the Australia incident to try to help her relationship with Mr. Depp, correct? I, let me back up. You attended Dr. Banks' deposition as well, did you not? Yes, I did. And Dr. Banks testified to that, correct? Uh, I don't remember if she testified to that. I don't have the notes right in front of me or the deposition transcript. All right. And do you recall Dr. Banks saying that she was not surprised that Amber was seeking a re restraining order because of the violence that she knew existed in the relationship? I do recall that, and it would be impossible to know that violence exists as a treating therapist or as a psychologist. Again, we're not investigators. However, I do recall that she said that because I remember having that thought. All right, let's go to Bonnie Jacob. You said that you reviewed the notes from Bonnie Jacob, correct? Yes. And what you testified to was that you discounted these because the first notes from Bonnie Jacobs indicated that she already had all of these symptoms, correct? Just, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. I discounted. Tell, tell, tell me why you discounted Bonnie Jacobs' notes. I did not discount Bonnie Jacobs' notes. You said that she, that Bonnie Jacobs in her notes had already determined that these symptoms were present for Amber Heard before the relationship with Mr. Depp, did you not? What I recall saying was that within Dr. Jacobs's notes, she's documented instances in which Ms. Heard reported to her over the course of therapy that she was experiencing nightmares, recurrent nightmares in fact, about childhood abuse. Okay. All right, so the first of Bonnie Jacobs' notes is on 10-17-2011. Do you recall that? I, I don't recall the exact date. I don't have anything in front of me. She documents multiple, multiple occasions that Amber Heard reports to her physical violence uh, upon her by Mr. Depp. Does she not? There are several notes that indicate that Ms. Heard has reported violence by Mr. Depp, yes. M many, many, correct? I wouldn't qualify it as many, many. I'm not sure what you mean how, by many, how, many. How many would you say? I don't know. I don't have the notes in front of me. Okay. Well, what do you recall in deciding to make your opinions in this case? Well, I'm confused about the dates because I know that Dr. Jacobs treated Ms. Hurd even while she was in her prior relationship, leaving her prior relationship with her last wife. Uh, Dr. Curry, I'm not going to ask you to try to bring in extraneous things. I'm asking you what you recall of these But notes. the dates would have been different based on that alone. Okay. And I recall that there was quite a bit of information because these were copious notes spanning back in time from her relationship with Tasha. So, Dr. Dr. Curry, please answer my question. How many occasions do you recall Dr. I don't know. Dr. Jacobs documenting Amber reporting physical abuse. I don't know. Now, you also said that you listened to audio tapes in this case, correct? Yes. Did you hear Mr. Depp admitting to headbutting Ms. Heard? That is not what I heard. You didn't hear that? I heard a conversation about headbutting. I did not hear him, as you said, admit to headbutting Ms. Heard. Okay, that's your characterization of it, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, the, did you see the videotape of Mr. Depp in the kitchen? Yes. Okay, did Ms. 
heard imagine that or create that or was she responsible for that somehow? I'll, I'll sustain the objection as a question. Okay. Um, what, if any, impact did you have, did that have on your opinions watching Mr. Depp in that video? I'm not sure it, it was one of many pieces of the exhibits and other collateral data that I considered. I'm not sure what the direct impact was or if that could be measured. All right. Now, counsel asked you whether you had conducted any type of examination on Mr. Depp, and I believe your answer was no, correct? No. You did not review any medical records or psychological records from Mr. Depp either, did you? I reviewed all of the records that were available. Do, do you recall reviewing medical and psychological rec records I, on Mr. I, Depp? Yes. Do you recall Dr. Blaustein referring to Mr. Depp having rage? No, I actually recall him referring to Ms. Hurd in that note. Your testimony is that Dr. Blaustein was referring to Amber Heard as having rage? I transcribed several of the notes, and I may be missing a time when he I said that about Mr. Depp. The handwriting was very difficult to transcribe, but there was one instance in which I recall transcribing him stating that Mr. Depp reported that Ms. Heard had rage. Dr. Blaustein's deposition was taken, was it not? I don't recall. Do you recall? Uh, so I take it then you don't recall him testifying that Mr. Depp told him he had rage and demons? I don't recall. Do you recall Dr. Blaustein testifying that Mr. Depp looked at his wife, Amber, like his mother or his sister that he didn't like? I haven't seen his deposition. I don't recall that. Okay. Now, did you see and do you know whether Mr. Depp has ever been diagnosed with any personality disorders? My, that's not relevant to my task to conduct an evaluation of Ms. Hurd. So, so would it, would I, I do not know that he has had one. It was not in the records that he did. All right. So one way or the other, you don't know whether Mr. Depp suffers from any personality disorders. There was, that's not my task. Okay. Let me go to uh, IPV perpetrators, would you agree that accusations of infidelity can be considered one of the characteristics of a personality perpetrator of IPV? It can be a characteristic of a lot of things. It is something that can be weaponized if somebody is trying to or is having rage toward their partner. Let's go to page 270. 